Hi, this is David from Minute Earth. Suppose you're a mad scientist, and, like any good supervillain, you want to take over the world with an army of clone super soldiers. Well, way before you have to tackle all the ethical and economic and infrastructural problems that come with leading a clone army, you're gonna run into a major science problem. Because of the way DNA works, it's super hard to make even one clone, and it's almost impossible to make a clone army. The idea behind making a clone is simple. Rather than the birds and the bees method of mixing a sperm cell's half set of DNA with an egg cell's half set of DNA to form a fertilized egg, also called a zygote, you instead take a full set of DNA from another body cell and use it to replace the DNA of an egg cell in order to form a clone zygote. Because the clone zygote contains a full set of DNA, just like the regular zygote does, you might expect it to divide and turn into an embryo, just like the regular zygote does too but most of the time, it won't. Clone zygotes are not reliable because while all other cells in the body do contain a full set of DNA, these other cells optimize their DNA to best serve their own particular functions. The cells stick little do not use tags on certain unnecessary genes or otherwise tangle them up into out of the way balls. This specialization makes DNA from non-sex cells particularly unsuited for cloning purposes because those tags and tangles make it hard for the clone zygote to divide. And while there are enzymes that detag and detangle the DNA from sperm and eggs to enable the good old fashioned making of babies, when they try to detag and detangle DNA from another cell in a clone zygote, they do a pretty haphazard job. As a result, almost every time a zygote tries to divide, the process malfunctions. Every once in a great while though, the tags and tangles left behind, for some reason, don't stop the embryo from growing. Hello Dolly, or hello super soldier clone. But that's just one extra super soldier. If you really want to ramp up your clone army production, especially if your original super soldier dies of old age as you make failed clone after failed clone, you'll need to figure out how to make a clone of a clone and that's currently a no-go. Because while your super soldier clone may look like your original super soldier, its baseline DNA already has some extra tags and tangles. And as its cells specialize, that tagged and tangled DNA will only get taggier and tanglier. So when you try to clone your clone, that DNA will be the taggiest and tangliest, which means that the enzymes will have no hope of untagging and untangling it. Except, some scientists, the non-mad kind of course, recently identified a super enzyme that can handle multiple generations worth of tagged and tangled DNA, which is exactly what you'd need to make not just a clone, or a clone of a clone, but a clone of 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 a clone. Whew. This technique only seems to work in certain rodents though, so your clone army will just have to wait. Unless, of course, your original super soldier is less a bounty hunter and more a mousy hunter. It's hard to clone a living thing. It's even harder to clone something extinct, like a mammoth. But you can learn how scientists plan to do it over at The Great Courses Plus, which sponsored this video. The Great Courses Plus is like Netflix for learning, with a library of more than 11,000 lectures, including an Introduction to Paleontology course, that details the race to reconstruct and clone the mammoth genome. In addition to science content, you can check out courses on things like cooking, art appreciation, and de-stressing your life, which actually sounds pretty good right now. To get a free trial subscription to The Great Courses Plus and show your support for Minute Earth, go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Minute Earth or click the link in the description below. Thanks, Great Courses Plus. Also, congrats to our latest caption contest winner. The next image is ready for awesome caption suggestions from all levels of patrons at patreon.com slash Minute Earth.